Yeah. This is a podcast of Nathan, Nat and Sean. Let's go. Oh. All right. Daddy. Big Kahuna's in the house. <laughs> Dance. Dance, Daddy. <laughs> Mark McGowan, how are you, Al? Good morning. Drop it like a top. Daddy in the house. Drop it like a top for us. I don't cool. think... It, well, I have no idea what you just said, but I um, I don't think I'm a big kahuna. You well, there's, there's no but one you more you told me you have state. big kahuna. <laughs> <laughs> you were willing to show me. He off keeps there. He keeps <laughs> <in> the pictures. <laughs> oh, I think there's bigger kahunas around than me. <laughs> <laughs> don't talk yourself down. <laughs> how are you, Mark? How are you going? I'm good. I'm good. Great he's, to be here with you this morning. He saw. He did some physical labour over mm. the weekend. Oh, oh did you? A bit of yard work, Yeah, hey? yard work, all that sort of stuff. What, what, uh, what happened to happen in the yard? I had to mow and I had to dig out some stuff and I had to move some stuff. Dig and, up some know, what? Roots. Like, yeah, dig up some plants and... Stuff that was, you know, old over winter. You know, spring. You got to yeah, you got to mulch the gardens and do all the. Um, that was what I was doing. I did all that. Did, did all that. I took two trips to Bunnings. You did. Sunday. Yeah, two trips. Really? Got lots what of happens? Stuff. What happens at the Rockingham Bunnings when you walk in? What happens? What uh, are they like? Oh, do you have people with you when you go there? No, no. I just go and get my stuff and then walk out. Yeah, right. Yeah, walk out. Walk do you in, find yourself out. even? I pay. I don't know. Like all of us, when we go to Bunnings, you, you go can take for three, your dog. Three things at Bunnings, you walk out with ten. Did that happen yeah, to that, you on the weekend? It does. Yeah, yeah every it's, time. It's addictive. Mm. But you can take your dog. I didn't take my dog. What uh, What did you buy at Bunnings? Uh, I bought soil improver. I bought fertilizer. <laughs> uh, a bit of I bought some bone. lights. Uh, bought some lights. Yeah, you fairy know, lights. Gotta, you know, no, no fairy, no, no lights. Oh, it's nothing um, like glo- dust globes. Dustpan brush. Yeah, globes. Yeah. Globes. Yeah. I have not. I've been at my place for over four years now. Once, not once as a globe blown. Mm. So what's happening? You, you sit in darkness all the time. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> 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 That's the point. We don't about, want to see. What's about turning a light on? It's just me. I know where I am. Any retic fittings? Got a lot of candles. Any retic fittings? No. Be the go for yeah, me. yeah, no, that's impossible. I hate doing retic. I, I hate it. There's a couple of places I lob into, and they set because sometimes you get the sprinklers that have a certain setting. So mm. I just get them to do that because I can't, I can't do oh, it myself. Oh god! Sure. And then I just have to screw it on. That's done. Perfect. That's how I, yeah. when I go and buy a tie, um, if I'm yeah, I, you I, get I get them to tie it around my neck and then I take it off and then that's how it stays forever. Forever. I don't know how to. Doesn't tie matter how much soup you spill on it or anything. <laughs> never gets dry clean. No, how many ties do you own? Oh, I've got a few, but they're all done up. Um, yeah. yeah, yeah. How many do you? Want? I don't reckon you'd be a tie guy. I'm not a tie guy. No, he can't move his no. neck when he neck. wears a tie. It's like so, he's got a bolt in his neck. So, yeah, he literally. Like, <laughs> I would have thought you'd have about two. If I've got a tie on and ready, so I'm t- I'm talking to Sean, right? Yeah. If I got a tie on, call, call my name Mark. Say Nathan, Mark. Nathan. <laughs> He's doing the robot. They just do the robot. My, 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 my entire waist. He does look like a robot. And I can't move my neck. It's really quite funny. I'm like the Batman suit when you can't, like, you know, you can't yeah. move his neck. It's yeah. quite sinister. Mm. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Yeah, no, I got, uh, I don't know, probably 30 something. Oh. Yeah. Oh. 40. Oh, I don't know, I've never counted. Are they yeah, are yeah. they all red? Like do you No, no, I got a mix. No, I got a whole mix. I mean, in all the all the billboards of you, you're always wearing a red tie. Am I? I don't know. I don't, it's I don't the Labour colour, isn't it? Yeah, 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 what you're doing? Yeah, yeah, I don't wear a blue. Do you have like a fun tie? I have a blue one. I have, yeah. Yeah, I have, like, you know, like, uh, pink ones. Do you, have, and, do you have a fun one, like a, like a Marvin the Martian one? Or No, I had to get a new tie when the Queen died. And what did oh, that say? Black. What, what, what was it? Oh, black. you didn't, you didn't have a black tie. tie. I said everyone, well, just long black tie. No, I didn't have one. Yeah, uh, everyone. I mean, it was really hard to get one because everyone was buying the black ties for that <laughs> couple of weeks. It's a hot it was, market. It was a market. I'm sorry, it was really hard to get a black tie. <laughs> 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 it was. Yeah, the market. The market. Uh, yeah, honestly, you had to hunt around to get that black tie. Because <laughs> <laughs> everyone was wearing them. I went I to that big thing in Canberra. Jack one, but yeah, uh, and you know there was black ties, long black ties. I, know, yes. I don't mean bow ties. Yes, long yes. black ties as far as the eye could see. Yeah, there you it go. It was really hard. The market was. <laughs> been flooded with it. It was. It was very. It was. Very Gee, it would have been a good time to jack the prices. Yeah, though. it was. Yeah, yeah. yeah. one's coming for yeah. the black tie futures that week. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. 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 trading. Uh, hey, I'm um, so you were pretty excited about your um your little uh, train station to the airport. It was great. Yeah, airport, yeah, yeah. Hey? yeah. I have a great. question. <laughs> Natalie's been waiting to speak. To no, you. I do, I, and I I think I, I know either. the long term answer, but at the moment. I only ever fly Qantas, and so if I wanted to catch a train to the st- to the airport, I'd have to get off at Redcliffe Station, and then either walk for about twenty minutes with my bags, or lug my bags onto a bus that may or may not be waiting at the time the train is- arrives. Yeah, so you can't build the station the train line to every terminal. Mm. Uh, but the longer term plan, in fact, it was originally for twenty twenty five, was for the Qantas terminal to move to T one. 
Yeah, so, so when is that going to happen? Well, that was scheduled for 2025. Yes. But, then but COVID you're saying happened. was. Well, yes. no, COVID <laughs> happened and Qantas lost a lot of money and all yeah. that sort of stuff. Oh, well, no, so, they just advertised a massive profit. Well, well yeah. over that time, so we're yes. working with them to get them yeah. there as soon as we yeah. can. But then again, around up. 2025 is when you've got your baggage. <laughs> 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 they might have located it by then, so that'll be all right. So, Mark, the current <laughs> position now, because I was at the airport just the other day, and, um, yeah, like Nelly said, it's quite a walk. Yes, uh, I mean domestic. if you're, if you're flying yeah. out of the other terminal, it's fine because yeah. it's right there. Yeah, that's that it. does make sense. But well, it the is international where yes. we normally would yeah. go and, Virgin and Virgin. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, so it's it's close to that. Qantas is due to go to the international terminal at some point in the future. As I said, it was originally scheduled for 2025. Uh, but we'll work with them to get them there as soon as we can. And the yes. other thing is for FIFOs that might – they're they're probably the most likely locals that are going to use it because they're regular users of the airport. But it's not. Early well, enough the for car them. Park. It's not early enough. Well, for it's them. not twenty four hours, but you got to no. remember there's a period in the early morning they do all maintenance and work on the tracks and yeah. testing and all that sort but of stuff. But for the people that are most likely to use that airport, a well, covers, airport, airport train, it covers ninety percent of the time that FIFOs are flying out. It's just there's a sh- there's a window early in the morning. But as I said, there's maintenance and all this sort of stuff that has to happen mm. on buys yeah. in those hours. So. In the meantime, can we um, put in a contract for Nathan and Sean's rickshaws and we'll be able to <laughs> yes. just pedal Little pedalos. Little Back and forth. Yeah, that's a great idea. Yeah. Would you yeah, we'll that? work on that. Yeah. Would yeah. You? Well, yeah, we'll get a team of people. What is oh. the city? Oh, there's the city of people. Belmont that we have to get that through? Who, who's the city around there? Be, it'd Bel- be, Belmont's well, that's, the Belmont. airport's yeah. federal, mm. isn't it? It's on federal land. Yeah, that's yes. right. It's mm. excluded from. So who do we have to? Okay. Uh, is that you that says prime minister? Raise it with oh. him. <laughs> yeah, okay, we'll get him in. <laughs> you better get him in. Here. Bloody elbow. <laughs> get him in here. Well, while well, we've got you about serious issues, how are you going with the nurses? They'll come and left, right, and centre for uh, for the pay increase, which I think everyone in the public goes, yeah, we, you know, they've done it harder. We've got a enough, massive whatever. surplus. Yeah. Just pay the nurses some more. Well, we on. are going to pay them more. We want to give them a three thousand dollar bonus and a three percent pay increase and a half a percent superannuation increase. But three percent doesn't even cover inflation, does it? Yeah, but there's a three thousand. There's a temporary inflation spike. Um, so there's a three thousand dollar sign on bonus plus three and a half percent when you include superannuation per annum. Uh, plus, we've agreed to uh, move to nurse to patient ratios, so that's what we put to the nurses now. You don't want to upset them because if you yeah. like do yard work and hurt yourself, all that's right. Hospital. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, good luck. I've been checking your drip. <laughs> what, do you, what do you think they'd do to me? What would they do to me? Nothing, and that's the problem. <laughs> <laughs> Literally nothing. I'd, I'd have I'd have double team security <laughs> in my ward if I was in hospital. Hey, if Mark, just you. on this for a second, um, you can be my food taste. <laughs> We had the uh, police in here the other day. Uh, they're doing a recruiting yes. campaign. And I was just thinking, so we, we, we had a look at their pay scales, um, police, and we're yes. talking about nurses now. How how hard is it to attract people to go into those industries when they're, they're pretty low paid? Especially in the first few years. So, so you're looking at if you're mm. expecting people to give up the jobs they're job. currently doing to go and work in the police force, it's not financially attractive. So it's not worth it. Look, it it, it, it scales up over yes. time. And but over, like, you've got to get nine five. years, really, before it becomes decent. Yeah, but decent. most jobs when you start, you don't get paid what you do when you're experienced. And, but it's also a career and a life and, and, and there's, you know, lots of other benefits. It's over time and those sorts of things. But um, – we, we've recruited a lot of officers since we've been in office. Uh, we're recruiting 950 additional, in fact. But they're all leaving too, as many Some as are yes, leaving yeah. because There's the economy is so strong. Rate. Yeah, that's right. Now, when, you know. That's what I'm that, saying, that because the economy is so strong. You make the adjustment. You, yeah, you have, to, you have to pay them more to keep them. Yeah, and, and we are paying more. Our pay increases are larger than Sydney, than New South Wales or Victoria. Um, and obviously our cost of living here is significantly less than those states. So we mm. are um, doing... Um, all we can to recruit additional police officers, but it's a very competitive labour market. We know yep. that. Yeah. Can you even like give them a cut of like what you find at raids? Um, you know, like um, <laughs> like here you get a sneaky Rolex. That, that's it's, it's yeah. incentive oh, you, oh, you based. Can, you can get a jet ski. <laughs> <laughs> So where are you selling the gear you find on the streets, yeah. Nath? That's what, right. What is that? <laughs> the gear you find, all the gear you find on the streets. Yeah, 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 trying yeah. to sell that back, <laughs> sell that back to the streets. The Nathan, Nat and Sean podcast. Dream team. It's just a dream. Dream team. I have a dream. Dream team. For Telephone 2022. I know. Guess the celebrity with our dream team. So Spudge can donate back to Telethon. Head to Telethon at ROC Arena October 23 and 22. Tickets through Ticketag.
Okay, so with Spud Shed, we are playing Dream Team for Telethon. That's right. <laughs> Absolutely. The Premier, Mark McGowan's in the house. He'll be playing this morning alongside myself. That's Ooh, right. Famously good at this Sean game, Sean. Thank you. versus the State Daddy. Um, we've got a couple of people that yeah, want to team up with you guys. We've got Brent and Maria. Brent called through first. Hi, Brent. Hey, guys. How you going? Great, Good, Brent. Brent. you got you got first choice, Brent. You've got Sean McManus, who traditionally... Um, Awful. Oh, I'm feeling on point tonight. not good. <laughs> um, and, and Mark McGowan's been talking himself up today. You should have heard when that song was on. <laughs> he's, oh, he's rubbed shoulders with world leaders. That's he right. reckons he can, he can name anyone in three words. Tough choice, Brent. Yeah, Tough Brent. Brent <laughs> Whose team do you want to be on, Brent? Brent, do you work for the state government? Uh, no, I don't. I'll go Sean, thanks. Oh! 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 All right. That's Slick an Brent, Brent, you're not working for the state government. <laughs> Maria, hello. Hello. Hi, Maria. Right. You've been lumbered with the Premier as your teammate. Is that, you that's that? fine. I was going to pick him anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well done, Maria. Clearly yeah, you've heard Sean play this game before. Got, yeah. <laughs> yes, I don't know I if there's have. any winners here so far <laughs> picking <laughs> between the two of us. All right, guys, it's, I'm going to be pretty simple. So we're going to get um, uh, Sean. You're going to be going yep. first with your teammate Brent. Um, we're going to be putting 60 seconds on the clock. Natalie over yonder has yep. a whole lot of flashcards yep, with celebrities' names on there. What Sean has to do is look at the name of the celebrity and he has to describe that celebrity to Brent in three words. You cannot use any part of that person's name. Yeah, that's right. And you can only use three yep. words, Sean. We're yep. going to reiterate that for you <laughs> really specifically. Sean, if you don't think you can get there, you can pass. Brent, if you don't think you're going to get it, you can pass too, okay? And you can have more than one guess no for each name as now, well. Now, okay. the amazing thing is for everyone you get right, we're going to donate $100 for Telethon. So do it for the kids. Okay, I'll be trying. Are you... <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Brent, are you ready? Remember, you've got to go next. So. <laughs> Brent, you ready? Yeah, no, ready yeah. to go. Great. Okay. okay. Yeah. Sean and Brent, yes. your time starts now. Oh, uh, Tesla owner. Buff. Uh, Elon Musk. Uh, <laughs> World's best tennis. <laughs> uh, Roger Federer. Keep going. Nadal. Keep Drop going. Me. Yep. There we go. Uh, uh, Prime Minister of Australia. That's four words. Oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> Next. No, you're not getting what do you it. Mean, Prime Minister Harry, of Australia. Sure, sure, sure. Prime Minister of That's Australia. Sure, Harry. Uh, Wildcats best player. Damien Martin, uh, Bryce Cotton. Yeah. Bryce Cotton it is. Oh, um, do you believe? Oh, <laughs> That's four words. Now, pass. Four words. <laughs> Got me there. That was fair. One Direction. Hair. Uh, Harry Styles. Yeah. Yes, nice. Country Western boobs. Dolly <laughs> Parton. <laughs> yes. yes. <laughs> uh, A-Rod's X. Uh, Time's up. Jennifer Lopez. Oh. Yeah, you got to play. We'll, we'll get the question in. We'll give right. it up. We'll give it up. We'll All right, we'll allow it. Prime Minister. That's one word, isn't it? We got five. Okay. What would you call it? Put that? in all. Prime Minister of Australia. Prime Minister is two words. Prime Sean. and minister. It's not Prime Minister. <laughs> Wait, you've said fast Well, can I just say, <laughs> amazingly, that was five. That's yeah, $500 bank account. Did account you get five? Yes. Yeah. Oh, all right, okay. Mark all right. McGowan. Fred, on, get Maria. on you, mate. That uh, must have been a great Maria, victory. Maria, how are you going? You, you all right? Yeah, a little bit nervous now. No, don't you be nervous, sweetheart. Okay. Um, Mark, have you... Maria, it's just telethon. It's the kids. <laughs> it's the kids. kids. So, so and don't... it's Mark McGowan's political reputation. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> can make me look stupid. There's a lot going on I here. Hear that a lot. All right, guys, we're going to put nah, 60 nah. seconds on the go. clock. The same go. rules apply, Mark. If you don't think you can get it, pass. Uh, Maria, if you don't think you're going to get it, you can pass as well, okay? Yep, no worries. Okay. Let's put the time starts now. United States President. Oh, uh, oh my God! Pass. Pass. Is Joe Biden. Biden. Oh my God! Born in the. Oh, oh yes! Pass. I know pass. the feeling. Bruce pass. Springsteen. Oh, yes. Come on! Australia's best tennis. <laughs> Craziest. No best. best. He best. said best. best. Pa- pass. Pass. Ah, they can do it. Can do it. Um, little China girl. <laughs> Oh, my God. Pass. 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 David Bowie. That was David Bowie. Um, uh, me, myself, Irene. Um, Jim Carrey. Oh, yeah, what a great movie. Uh, oh, I can't do that one. Pass. Pass. Uh, no dog. Uh, married to Rove. No. <laughs> what? 
Well, first of all, she's not. She's not <laughs> married to Ryan. Oh, no, she's married she's to Ryan. She's married to Ryan. Oh, that's right. It was right. Isla it's Fisher. Very Pearstone. Pearstone Isla Fisher. Isla Fisher. The three words was an issue, wasn't it? Just <laughs> once you start. Get, how many did you get? Yeah. Sorry. Two. Two. Oh, oh, two. You hate fresh. the children. That telethon helps, oh, obviously. Oh, that means Brent. Brent. You Maria, scored the five hundred dollars sponge shed voucher. <laughs> well done. Uh, Thank you very much, well done, Brent. But what you've job, all brother. done Thank is God. we've just raised another seven hundred dollars for right. telethon. Great perfect, job, everybody. Perfect. Great. Mark, she's, she's, not, she's not married to Roe. No, she's, she's not. Yeah, yeah, you right. are rubbish. Borat. She's married to Borat. She's married to Borat. Yeah. Married to Borat. There's That's three good words, isn't there? <laughs> married to Borat. You're going to be kicking yourself all day. <laughs> if you see the premiere today, play this game with him. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, Maria did get Bruce Springsteen from oh, Born in the... Oh, that was <laughs> amazing. <laughs> She didn't the get US president. Oh, I, I know. Funny. That's a bad reflection on Joe Biden, isn't it? Um, thank you so much for coming thank in. You, Sarah, thank you, We know you're a very busy man at the <laughs> thank moment. Thank you for having me. Um, so, it's very you're welcome here anytime. Uh, <laughs> I got thrashed by Sean. You did. I know. That is <laughs> a, a low real point. point. That no. is a real <laughs> low point. point. <laughs> These questions were easier. <laughs> okay. uh, Nathan, Nat, and Sean is a Nova podcast. For more great comedy shows like this, head to novapodcasts.com.au.